Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Tea and Questions with me, Hollow. Thanks for all your uh, questions and your responses to last time. As always, it's great to see the response and some of these questions that you guys are asking. And again, you know, oftentimes people are asking these questions and you're having a conversation in my comments and it's it's really nice to see. It's really nice to see. Um, in response to a thing that I talked about last time, I had a few replies. It was about um, me talking about gaming and something that doesn't have a exactly like physical addiction stuff, and I don't think it's like exactly addiction, but there are types. Um, what a lot of people were saying is, uh, you know, technically it is, can be a form of addiction because, you know, when you when you're producing this um, chemical in your mind that when you're enjoying something, it can be considered addictive because you want to keep enjoying it, right? Um, obviously, I should have probably covered that a little bit better, and I don't know all the specific science to it, obviously, um, and I don't know everything. I don't know everything on every topic. I'm 21 I barely know anything on any topic, um, but yeah, I just want to like give my opinion and stuff, and that's what the show's about, and answering these questions, it's fun, and um, it's really cool to me, because I get to learn all these things, and you know, these responses that you gave to that addiction question, um, I did actually learn a few things, and it's okay to be wrong, um, and you know, I might not have been 100% on my answers, so I acknowledge that, I want to say thank you for your comments, and uh, I hope I didn't piss anyone off, basically, but uh, yeah, basically what I was trying to say is that, you know, um, mental addiction when it comes to like enjoying a game or something that doesn't technically have addictive addictive properties isn't properly addiction when you compare it to things like cocaine nicotine heroin where you know if you don't have them for a certain amount of time you're going to start shaking your body like rejects not having it and stuff you know um that's the kind of comparison i was making rather than specifically saying how it works so yeah i want to say thank you for those comments and uh, yeah that's the follow-up to that so let's begin but first i should probably drink some tea to prove that i have some all right first question comes from gorillas my boy great name uh wh when did your hair turn blue um about a month and a half ago i fell into um a pool of uh you know radiation a nuclear site nearby had toxic waste that was pooled into a pool um and it was it was very green right like toxic radiation would be right and i fell in head first but actually i managed to stop myself mid-air levitating in the air and only my hair actually even like the sides somehow but like my hair my head like dunked into this toxic toxic waste but it, strangely only my hairs on my head even though on the side here that wouldn't physically work um went into the pool and this toxic radiation even though it was green apparently dyed my hair blue it must have been brown and green combining to make blue because that would work um yeah that's that's why my hair's blue it was crazy also i can fly now this question comes from zeb burge uh, or berg uh question hi hello what are your feelings about youtube putting additional ads on videos a day or two after it gets uploaded basically what this is is actually something i've got a few screenshots on twitter and stuff and it's annoying it's um basically what it's called is Ads that are going to play during the video, like um, scrolling ads, I guess is the actual name for it. Um, basically what it means is there's going to be no ad playing at the start of the video, but about halfway through or somewhere in between. Like, if, Let's say it's a 15 minute video, there'd be like two ads in between it, yeah? Um, originally. Um, you wouldn't get an ad at the start when you start watching, but there'd be like a pop-up at some point, so you just click the X and it'd go away. And then uh, there'd be another pop-up at some point, and you click the X and it'd go away. Or one of these might be those ones where it just goes, stops the video, plays an ad, and you just press skip after five seconds, right? That's the usual thing. Um, with these hour-long videos that I'm uploading, YouTube's actually like going, well, he's uploaded an hour video and in 20, 20 to 30 minute videos we often put two ads in so we'll just put four or five in since it's an hour long and uh, what that is it's basically going maybe there's no ad at the start of the video or there's an ad at the start of the video and then i don't know some point you'll have to click an x when a pop-up comes up that takes a millisecond and halfway through maybe you'll just be like skip and then maybe the, the towards the end there'll be an x to click i honestly don't think that's that bad um it supports me in a big way um but I never like agreed to them putting that many ads into it. I said that I'd like scrolling ads in my videos because obviously that means that I am paid more ultimately for what I do. Um, but it's like they've started like jamming a lot into them. And I understand because they're like really long videos that, you know, maybe there's more room for these ads and it's a bit fairer to me since I'm putting in an hour work. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I just 
I don't think it's that bad, but if like every single ad was one where you have to skip, wait five seconds and skip, then that'd be just ridiculous. But the thing is, I don't believe that's the case. I think maybe one of them is in an hour long like video. Like you have to imagine like you're watching a TV show, yeah? And uh, it lasts an hour, except it doesn't. It's 40 minutes and you get five minutes of ads four times through it, yeah? So it's like split up to four, it's split four times in an hour and you last five minutes of ads. That's a big difference. And in YouTube, it's like, you have to just click an X or, you know, wait five seconds and press skip. I really don't think it's as bad as people make it out to be, but it is annoying that they're putting a lot through for some reason. And hopefully they do change that. If that's an option that I get, then I'll probably take that so you guys aren't as annoyed by it, basically. Khalil asks, here's a dilemma and a half. You have a limited budget with which to make a film. So there's two choices. They are a top quality director and crappy actors or a crappy director and quality actors. And this is horrible. I was thinking about, I was like, I don't like what if questions, but this one... I, this one I like for some reason and uh, yeah this is horror because you have to imagine like if you got like a top quality like the the best director you could imagine right just whoever that is to you just imagine your best director that you know has made amazing films and they have awful actors in it like you know like people who just don't know how to act it would ruin the film like they he could tell them what to do specifically and they still wouldn't be able to do it properly because it might feel awkward to them or they might not know what they're doing or they might not be able to speak English. If it's an English film and you've got someone who can't speak English trying to act, for example, maybe if it's that, I don't know, that would be awful for it, right? Obviously. And then you, you take the other side of it. It's a crappy director, but really good actors. There's been lots of films with like amazing actors. Like, um, trying to think of examples. Obviously, my, my brain's blank now. But like, imagine a film where you got like a big actor in it. Like, um, why can't I think of any actor ever? Yeah, ever. Oh, here you go. I think. Um, uh, oh god, I I'm thinking of Chris Nolan, which is a director, Chris Nolan, uh, don't know why I said Chris Nolan, Chris Nolan, um, basically he is a director and he did the Batman films, I'm trying to think of the guy who plays the Batman in the Batman films, or Psycho, he plays the main character in Psycho, American Psycho, not the original Psycho by the way, and it's Christian Bale I'm thinking of, um, he's in a new film that, uh, is about Egyptians and uh, he's playing an Egyptian and he's white and Egyptians are from Africa and all of the other main cast are also white and they're all playing Egyptians and Egyptians are from Africa they are not white so that's gonna be awful that film um, I can imagine that's going to be really bad, and I'm sure the director's like, fine, he just casts terribly. You know, these are great actors, but they're in a bad film. It drags it down. Um, I don't think you can win with either of these options, but I think I would take the crappy director and the good actors, just so I can meet the actors, because either way, we're making a sham. We're making a sham. I may as well meet some famous people, right? Edo Dave asks, uh, hey, hello. Are you, the, are you and the rest of the group going to start playing Attack on Titan again? Or is there something that you don't like on the servers? Um, I just think that you should play again because there's all these new features. Yeah, they've added so much. They've made the Titans look really cool. They've added a bunch of new maps, new game modes, new styles, customization. Um, new Titans in general, like actual attack types, how they move. It looks really cool. We've just not really had time. We're all so busy. It's the Christmas like months and such. And we just not had time to sort sit down and play it together, but I definitely, definitely want to play that game more at some point. I love the um, Attack on Titan game, the browser one by Feng Li. So good. Made some videos on it. You should go check them out. If you have not, don't know anything about it, YouTube my... Um, it's the Colossal Titan Guide. Watch that. It's one of my best videos. I'm so happy with that video. Um, go watch that and you'll get an idea of what the game is. So good. So good. And I definitely, definitely want to play more of that in the future. I enjoyed that game so much. Um, so yeah, I definitely have plans to play that more in the future and with more of my like my friends with the group It'd be really really fun as well because we used to do that all the time And I would love to do more of that. We actually did racing stream on fluke stream. We did like the race map um, Not too long ago, but yeah, we want to do videos on it. We want to stream it definitely want to play more of that game Final question from Tunnel Breeze. Oh, this is just a curious curious question, but uh, yeah, please be open-minded Okay, so uh, guys he's asking a question Please don't like eat him alive or anything. Some of you responded to him and you said some like valid stuff But some were a bit angry about it and stuff. But either way um, Yeah, if you're an atheist 
isn't it kind of ironic that you still do Christmas since it's a Christian holiday? Well, the thing about it is um, originally the Christian holiday, it was like a pagan thing, right? Not even Christian, right? Um, and wasn't it meant to be celebrating um, Jesus Christ's birthday? And I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure I think um, Jesus Christ's birthday wasn't on December 25th. I, like, it's not. Um, so that's kind of odd. And, uh, yeah, it, it was moved, I think, by Romans, uh, just to make it more suitable to pagans. Um, also, it's, like, super commercialized now. So, tons of people from all different religions or don't have religions celebrate Christmas. Because what it is now is a case of me being able to have an excuse to see my family and give presents and receive presents from the people that I love and the people that I know, um... And sure, it's commercialized and it means like companies that make products make loads of money and stuff. And it's an awesome time of the year for like shops and stuff and retail and all that malarkey. But at the end of the day, you're still spending time with people that you like, usually. You know, it's it, the whole point of it now is just to have an excuse to see your family, really, isn't it? Um, and that's fine, you know, it doesn't matter what religion you are. It's just a good thing. And ultimately, when you think about Christianity, it's like... I'm sure a Christian would be happy to know that an atheist is spending their time showing love to the people that they love. Like, that's that's what Christianity is about, right? As far as I'm aware. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it, you know? Just, I guess uh, I don't really see it as ironic um, in any form, really. So yeah, thanks so much for all the questions, guys. If you have any more questions, please ask them and leave them as a comment down below on this video. That's where I'm going to go look for them. Um, hope you are satisfied with the answers and uh, if you had any good questions that you asked last time and maybe I didn't see then please just go ahead and ask again and yeah that'll do guys thanks so much for watching I love seeing all your comments and your replies to each other and the conversations that you have on these videos and uh, even though they don't get the most views I still enjoy doing them and I still think it's cool that I, get, I can do them so thanks so much for watching and uh, yeah I've been Hollow, you've been you and I'll see you next time